I just Ooh, smashed the button. Oh, see, now, now it's up close. close up. Hey there, everybody. It's me, Dr. Chris. That Hi. is Sarah. You know what? I uh, decided to change the title of this. You know, somebody had suggested that we call it the Bickersons because that was like a right. TV show. When was that? In the 50s or 60s or yeah, something? Yeah, long time ago. See, now it's cutting off my head. I don't uh, like it. See. Hold on. Give me a second. There we go. Okay. Mm. <laughs> yeah, no, this is a good angle for right? me. Okay. Yeah, I like this. So the Bickersons, I, uh, I think uh, there might be some copyright infringement. What if we call ourselves that? What? You got what? Flyaways. Oh. This light is so bright on my scalp. When's the last time you've had your hair done? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looks fine. It looks I was good. Going no, to it looks say, great. I don't have roots, but this <laughs> light makes it look like I have roots because it's shining down it's right the light. there. Mm -hmm. It is the light. Yeah, it's the light. Shut your face. <laughs> So anyway, I was going to title this The Bickersons, Yeah. and then I thought, oh, we can't use that. So, so... I actually started to title it on the website, uh -huh. Sarah Speaks, Doc Listens. I like that. Because that's pretty much what I do. Yeah. I look, I mm -hmm. smirk, give a look, raise my eyebrows, stuff yeah. like that, and you just kind of continue to go. Yeah. Hey, uh, do you have your phone handy? Speaking of things, I do. About, just go, hold on. I'm actually wearing a shirt today that does not make me look fat. That, but it's not, in, it's not black. I know. I know. I like that. I like that too. Can you? you should, yeah, should, we should do I need to put a piece of, of tape over it? No, it's my client. I, I know like it's your it. client, but <laughs> we did not. Uh, I didn't. Don't. No, don't do that. You probably can't even see it. Oh, well, I don't want to get no, hit with looks, like any FCC thing or you people won't. complaining. Well, that'd just be like your Adidas symbol. Oh well, yeah, that? that's true. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, uh, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, I don't look fat today. Do I? No. Yeah. Oh, so are like we? I got shoulders. Look at that. Well, yeah, but I'm way back on this. So you titled it "I Talk." Sarah speaks. Doc listens. Okay. But that's I'm the one that's doing now? all the talking. Is that, that's, that's not. What, the, that's, that's the working title. That's yeah, the working title. We should let people vote on it. Give us your ideas or your suggestions on what we should title this. It used to be you know what him if, versus her yeah. until I started to lose. <laughs> started then, to lose. <laughs> you then, always I, lost. And then, uh, <laughs> and then I put an end to that pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but see, here's the thing. If we let people suggest what to call it, they're going to be going, I like Sarah. Sarah's pretty. I like Sarah. We need more Sarah. No, we don't. I mean, not that we don't need more Sarah. Sarah. Just Sarah. That would work. The Sarah well, Show. Well, no, because then the I'm Sarah, out. The Sarah Show. With special guest, With special Dr. Chris. Dr. Chris. Yeah, great. Yeah, used to I be like my that. show. <laughs> no, no, I'm just. Take it over. I'm the guy back in the corner going, ladies and gentlemen, pretty it's soon, guys. Joe Sarah. <laughs> pretty soon. You're, I'm gonna be. If you're on the radio, and you're gonna hear this from the outside. I'm gonna have all the chairs shoved up against the door, and I'm gonna take over. I just need to figure out how to use all these buttons. Yeah, don't. Well, whatever you do, don't don't, don't, even, don't even put your hands over the buttons. <laughs> acting like it. No, don't do that. Have you ever seen that meme with the cat that's doing this? I have it on my phone. I have it on my phone. That's gonna be me in here yeah. on the radio. How's your day been? <laughs> Frantic. All right, so oh, speaking of phones, you have yours handy. Grab yeah. yours. Yeah, it's dirty. Uh, because the other day you had a bit of an issue. When um, was that? Monday? You sent me a picture. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Check this out. Show them. Show oh, them. you want to see? Uh, show, show them. Show them the after. Uh, no wait. The yeah. The problem. Okay. Do you have that? Well, yeah. Maybe. Sarah had a little problem at her house. So I woke up on Wednesday morning, at, or Wednesday morning, I think it was Monday, Monday yeah. morning, and. Uh, my daughter had taken a bath and I just really quick went to unplug the bathtub in my upstairs bathroom. Yeah. And then I was just listening and Was there a big I, whoosh? No, I just heard a waterfall. Like through the vents I could hear water. Mm. Run down two flights of stairs. Yeah. And there's water coming out of pipes in my basement all over the place. Yeah. And then every time I flushed a toilet, every time I turned on something else, water, 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 water. Yeah. See, now, when I first, because I was just, like, driving. Can you guys see that? Can you see that? that? Oh, man, that looks nasty. That was that was under the repair that uh, the previous owners of my house had repaired when uh, my inspector and my realtor told them that they had to repair this pipe that we found. Um, I was told that it wasn't connected to anything, and very, very, very long story short, um, I found out that 
technically no, it was not. We thought, I thought everything was draining from all the pipes upstairs and coming out that hole. Right. What we figured out after the plumbers got there that no matter where in the house things were draining into the main sewer line under the house, yeah. that pipe with that hole in it, the sewer was backing up from the bottom oh. up through that hole the, from the bottom up. So from <coughs> under the house... It could drain, because there's like, my house is a pretty big old house, so there's like four different big stack drains throughout the house. Okay. That everything's connected to. So, it wasn't, that wasn't connected to the bathtub, it wasn't connected to the kitchen sink. It used to be connected to the kitchen sink, and they had capped it off. Okay. And left because of that hole. It corroded. So, they capped it off underneath the sink, created right. new plumbing okay. from the sink into the pipe. But never, that hole was plugged, but just not repaired properly. But honestly, it was probably better that it wasn't plugged because if it wasn't and all that sewer backed up and out that hole, it would have backed up through my whole house and all my toilets and my sinks and all that fun stuff. But can I, can I tell them the plumber that helped me? Can I say that? Mm. <laughs> I had a, I had a plumber named Tom. Yeah, I, I suppose you can. His company Tom. is Tom something plumbers in Peoria and they were awesome. 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 awesome, awesome. Yeah. First when you you had sent me that picture, I thought, oh my God, what did Georgia do this time? I know. I thought it was the dog. (laughs) I thought your dog ate the pipe. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was. Because Georgia eats everything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, shoes. Yeah. Yeah. She's, she's a mess. (laughs) But so that took my whole day. But the funny thing about that was. So thinking that I bought the house in May and that it had been repaired Mm -hmm. and that repair had held through mid-December, I thought initially on Monday morning, I'll just repair it again myself. I'm pretty handy. I'll repair it myself and I'll get through to the, you know, beginning of the year and then I'll have it permanently fixed. So what do I do? I go to Lowe's and I buy Flex Seal tape (laughs) because the infomercials make it look like it would work. (laughs) So I, that was right before my breakdown. So I get (laughs) home and I'm feeling awesome. And this is before I knew exactly that it was a sewer issue and not necessarily a plumbing issue. So I get up on a chair and I'm yeah. All the way around that pipe, and I get my You're blow dryer. It. You're looking, it looks good. Yep, I've got my yeah. blow dryer because I think like I'm going to shrink wrap it on there, so I have to oh, go yeah. find an extension Pretty cord. Good. I get my blow dryer. I'm heating it up and squishing it together more. Mm-hmm. And then from the time that I fixed my gutter this spring, yeah. I had the Flex Seal spray still oh, at home. Wow. So then I went over the top of the Flex Seal tape with the Flex Seal spray. Yeah. Let it sit for like an hour and a half. Sure. Mm-hmm. Then I start doing the dishes, and I hear that same <laughs> sound of water pouring out all over. So then that's when I started crying. And then the worst part about it was, then I had to get tools and get that repair that I had just done off the pipe. Yeah. <laughs> so when the plumber got there, he could actually see the problem. Yeah. I had black Flex Seal stuff so, everywhere. I'm surprised I still don't have it under my fingernails. But why didn't that stuff work? Because the pressure of the sewer coming up oh. through, it just doesn't, it wasn't going to work. I don't know. That really kind of makes me want to heave just thinking about <laughs> it. it was, I had a mess. Yeah. Well. There's always something, right? Happy Monday. That's yeah. the way that, that's, there that's how your week started. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And right at Christmas time. Yeah. Oh. I told my girls that they were getting indoor plumbing for Christmas <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> but don't unwrap it. Yeah, <laughs> Whatever yeah, you don't. do, don't mm-hmm. unwrap it. No. All right, so this weekend, uh, PBR is in town, Professional Bull Riders. Yeah. Woo-hoo. The Velocity Tour. Yeah. We'll sell you the whole seat. Do that? But you're only going to need the edge. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. You, well, do Did what? Do they do that? Do yeah. they ride the bulls and they have the lassos and they catch nah, pigs and no, stuff? No. What? Ride the bulls with the lassos and catch, catch pigs. pigs? Didn't they? What do they use to catch? What do you got to catch? What's, what's Moo cows. Of, Little, oh, do you catch the other calves. little cow? So you ride the bull to no, catch the cows. No, no. Oh, Sarah. All right. Here we go. Quick little Oh, lesson. wait, no. Cowboys rode horses to catch the... Um, yeah. Cows. So you've got your bull riders. Yeah, they do it for Which sport. this is the PBR, the professional bull riders. Mm-hmm. So the horse, the cow, the, no. Yeah. Okay, They're not riding it. horses over there. They're riding bulls. Yeah. Eight seconds. So yeah, their arms are going, woohoo, woohoo. 
because you can only hang on with one hand. Because if that other hand touches the bowl, man, That's just right. And don't they like tape themselves yeah, in they and stuff there and they to wrap, where wrap the rope around their I hands would just think... and they do that and hit themselves and. I would think else. my arm would just go <laughs> right those, out of the socket. Those guys have massive forearms and biceps on one side. Mm -hmm. And the <laughs> other one just going, woohoo! <laughs> so, we wanted to have a cowboy in here. Yeah. They, but they had meat. They had meetings. They had a today. meeting. Who cowboy knew meetings. cowboys had meetings? Mm -hmm. But see, then I was thinking about that this morning because, you know, it's like NASCAR. Yeah. Nat, the drivers have driver meetings be yeah. before the race. So it's like safety and stuff. So yeah, cowboy, why, why can't cowboys have meetings? Mm -hmm. I want to be in that meeting. A lot of hats. <laughs> a lot of hats. <laughs> Do they vote on stuff? Like, I'm going to ride first. No. All in favor say No, yeehaw. because they, it's like they draw numbers on what bowl they're getting and what order and all that other kind of stuff. They're just making sure because the arenas are different. Mm -hmm. Safety yeah. issues. Those are called shoots. <laughs> yeah, look at you all of a sudden. I don't know why I know that, but... Because you thought they were riding a bull with a lasso to catch a pig. <laughs> that would be a sight. No, seriously, that would be a talent. Million if, dollar idea right here. If some dude could sit there riding a bull, boojba, 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 and all that hey, time going... still catch a pig or a <laughs> Launch the lasso. That, that guy, nice snort. That guy wins the grand prize, no matter what else. I know. Or you can catch the clowns. <laughs> that would be even funnier. Hang those clowns up by their ankles. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, good grief. And then we have the shark cage. Yep. That looks not We had a winner. That I've, doesn't look fun to me, but I'm sure it's oh, gonna I be, think that would be super awesome. fun to other people. I get. Yep. What? what uh, I had the name on my phone, but oh, we're using it. my phone. Oh, can we it, call? Can we tell them? Do they know that they won? I think they won. Or I think they know. Uh, Somebody sent me an email to say, "Here's your winner," and I don't normally contact. Winners. Dale Losher. Da Dale. Dale. I thought it was John. Dale. Dale Losher. This like a Pekin, right? Yeah. yeah. Dale Losher. Oh, Pekin. From Pekin. Yeah. So he's going to be in the shark cage. Yeah. They call it a shark cage, but it's a bull cage. <laughs> right. <laughs> there's, Dale, just so you know, there's no sharks. No sharks. I actually got a, a no message <laughs> last week that said, dude, tell me about that shark cage you're, you're giving entries to. It's for the rodeo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Oh. There's bulls. Right? That's scary. Yeah. Well, I mean, I it's the cool pipes price. are like yay big, you know, so you're definitely protected. Those bulls are like, what, what do they weigh? One ton? Two ton? A lot. They're big old beasts. Yeah. And they have an attitude issue. Yeah. I would too. They need a little bit of an attitude adjustment. So most of those, you said that there was a cowboy up here? Yeah. Ball rider? He was. Earlier this morning? Yep. But he was wearing like a five-piece suit? <laughs> yeah, he had a lot of suit on. <laughs> Did he have like the big knot in his tie that yeah. kind of pushed out a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's a fashionista cowboy. Yeah. Super, like it was a dark grayish steel colored suit and it, it just seemed like, maybe I hadn't had coffee yet, it seemed like there was just lots of layers to it. Than a hat. I've never seen hat. you without a cup of coffee, except for today. You got a bottle of water. I water, because I'm fitness, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll come back to that in just a second. Uh, so we had this cowboy. Here's the thing: uh, like when I first moved to town, there was a dude out in Bartonville. Mike is his name. Mm -hmm. Mike used to ride bulls. I don't think he still does, because that was like 20 some odd years ago. But anyway, he always used to try to get me to ride bulls. And I'm going, dude, I'm six foot four. <laughs> Center of gravity. <laughs> You know, they're always short, although Mike was kind of a big dude. This guy out here, this guy was tall. But was he skinny or was he heavy? Oh, he was like this big around. See, again, yeah. I'm not that I'm chunky, but the weight, center of gravity, yeah. I'm going off. And then I'm going to get snapped in half when they stomp on me. Yeah. Not going to happen. I would never. Yep, yeah. nope. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That, is, like, that is nowhere near my bucket list oh, of no, getting gosh, on the no. back of a bull. No. No but, eight seconds on Fu Manchu? No. <laughs> Is that the lyrics? Yeah. Four or live seconds. Like, live like you were dying. Yeah. I went whatever, point <laughs> two seven seconds, whatever, yeah. on a bull named Fu Manchu. Mm -mm. The that's only one time. Of those little things, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. The only time. <laughs> well, no, the Fu Manchu comes down. Oh. Its mustache comes all the way down. Oh. Uh, the only time I would get on the back of a bull is if that bull was having Taking like. you to ice cream? Hip surgery <laughs> oh. or something. Getting ready for that and he just didn't care anymore. And he just yeah. kind of went, Moo. He's tired. Moo. <laughs> Yeah, ice cream. Yeah. Where did that come from? I don't know. You're a writable ice cream. See, this is... <laughs> Prance down the street. <laughs> Going to Dairy Queen. <laughs> Speaking yeah. of that, Ferdinand the Bull. That movie's coming out. Ferdinand the Bull? Oh, you he's know that, red, that story? isn't he? Yeah. 
No, Maybe? he's not red. No, he likes flowers. Oh, is that it? But he, I think he, in the children's book, they color him red. Like, he's red in the children's book, I think. All right. You Maybe? Talk. I'm going to look. Okay. No, I'm not. Yeah, no, I am. Yeah, you are. Ferdinand the Bull. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, that when does that open? Maybe. That, I don't know. No, see? No, no, he's not. He's black. Yeah. I don't know what I'm thinking. He likes... Yeah, I do remember. It's Disney. Yeah, but yeah. see, the book, the cover of the, the book, book is, is red. red. Maybe that's... Maybe that's what she was thinking. Yeah. We'll give her credit for that one. All right, so fitness, Sarah. Drinking water now. But, I mean, I've always drank water, but... Really? You have like eight coffee cups on your desk. <laughs> it's like... She loads up. I mean, they're all set up. She has cups this big. She has cups this big. And they're all loaded up, ready to go. No, I'm just, I it's forget like, to take them home to clean them. And they, I get them all here. Like, I make coffee at home. Yeah. And then I get them all here. And then they stay here. And then I start getting coffee at Dunkin' Donuts, Starbucks, or McDonald's. Yeah. And then I start bringing that. <laughs> and then for some reason, I'm lazy enough that I can't even just take it and throw that cup away behind me in my garbage. So then I have a plethora of them all over the place. Sarah has, you know, like how some people have shoe collections? Sarah has coffee, coffee cup collections right on her desk. They're all jumbled up. Yeah, yeah. It's a, you it's never know. I mean, it's almost like <laughs> it's almost <laughs> like you you're in there? <laughs> if you're playing the bell. <laughs> <laughs> They're all over the place. Fitness, yeah, Sarah. Fitness, Sarah. <laughs> Tell us why you're you're now fitness, Sarah. Sarah. I'm gonna run a half marathon. Really? I don't know, but <laughs> I don't. I, no, that's your I'm goal, right? Say, I'm at least saying it out loud, and that's the first step, right? Actually, you if know I what? just keep telling people I'm doing it. Yeah. See, here's the thing. Everybody tells you that that says there. Here's what you should do. In reality, they tell you don't do that. Because when I decide I chicken out, and then I'm gonna look like a big idiot. But oh, I don't know. You're not I'm, gonna look like a big idiot if you chicken out. But the I don't even remember where I read it. It was actually from I don't know if it was Tony Robbins or somebody, some motivational speaker, they said, do not tell people what your goal is. Just do it. And then when you do it, then everybody's proud of you and surprised. Yeah, I don't so work just that do way. It. It's too late. <laughs> everybody knows now that you're going to do it. I know. Half and half. if anybody has a spin or anybody has a treadmill, treadmill. they want to trade me for a professional spin bike, comment below because <laughs> I need a treadmill because I don't do very well. I need, it's cold outside. So I need to start training inside. And having kids and a dog, I have a gym membership. Yeah. But I would get... You do have a gym membership. I would... I need to be able to have another option that I can run down and get a couple miles in in my basement instead of driving to the gym and back. So I have a spin bike. Mm -hmm. But I have heard, and you were one of the people that told me, that training on a spin bike or taking kickboxing classes mm -hmm. and getting my cardio up to par is still not the same as actually running and training for nope. the marathon half. Mm -mm. So I need... I need... I need one. I need a treadmill and I have a spin bike to trade someone or we'll take reasonable <laughs> offers in purchasing one. I just don't want to buy one full price. Well, no, because they're Because I pricey. just had to, and I just had to spend all <laughs> that money on my that. plumbing. Yeah, exactly. So, no, you uh, you cannot train on a spin bike for a half marathon. Yeah. Not properly, anyway. Yeah. I've got shoes. I have concerns. I have shin splints really bad and I have the flattest feet on the planet. I have zero arches in my feet. Zero. They are as flat as a board. So it makes me a little nervous about running. Yeah. Well, here's a little little pointer. Then I'm I'm willing to bet Adam from Running Central. That's where my shoes are from. What, are they actual running shoes? Yeah. Okay. Because with inserts in the whole nine yards. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Then, no, Adam already. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then if Adam took care of you, then you're good to go. Yeah. Because you know people think, oh, I'll just buy a new pair of shoes at Target or whatever, and they go running them, and the next thing you know, their feet are broken, the shins hurt, their yeah. hips hurt, their knees hurt, their back hurts, everything hurts. You gotta take. Gotta Get yourself a good yeah, pair no, of shoes. I've got miles left on the shoes that I have, and I would probably buy a new pair before I actually do this thing. But I don't know. It's in New Orleans. That's why you I want to do the half marathon. Yeah. Have you ever done a half marathon before? Nope. Have you ever? You've done a 5K before. I've done a few 5Ks, yeah. All right. Not in any time <laughs> records or <laughs> anything like that by any means. You completed but, them. That's all that matters, yeah, right? You, yeah. Well, yeah, you did complete them, right? And you I'm didn't still, just stop. Yeah. And then yeah, walk and I up didn't the course, cut, grab the no. free beer or anything like that. Mm -mm. No, that's my. That's the best motivation. My favorite one's Maka Maka because oh, yeah. pizza and beer and live music afterwards. It's fun. Well, you know, and fifty percent off my way gyms. A lot of oh, I was gonna say <laughs> up until that part, a lot of five Ks are like that: pizza, beer, oranges, bagels, bananas, yeah, stuff like that. Always pizza. I think uh, I did one once 
where it ended up at Kelleher's. There were pancakes. Ooh. Pancakes and beer at 7 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, see, that's awesome. Darn right, man. I'm oh. out, out, out. I just think there's a camaraderie with it. I think it would be a good goal for myself because I honestly don't know if I can do it. I know I can do it if I put my mind to you it. You can do it! I just, oh, it's that first step, which the first step right now is buying a treadmill. <laughs> so we'll see. Or just... <laughs> Going to the gym. Or, or running outside. Or running outside. I know. I know. I hate cold weather. You know, look, we... Okay, so for those of you who don't know, we live like, what, three, four blocks away from each other? Yeah. The neighborhood's good. I've got... Yeah. I have a two-mile path, a three-mile path, a five-mile path, and a seven-mile path. Really? Yep. I got all those routes. So in my head the other day, I was also I thinking that I had to get a <laughs> brand new Apple Watch or, or Garmin oh. or something before I could even start training, but that's not the case. Mm -mm. I can just do it. You don't have any of those things. Or you have something. Don't you have a Garmin or something? Mm -mm. No? No I have a, Fitbit I have a, or... I have a Fitbit. Oh. But it doesn't have... It doesn't tell you... Does it tell you? I want to know how many miles I'm running. Just not blindly. I just not, I'm not just yeah, going well, out. Yeah, no, it'll tell you how many steps and then how many miles. The one that I have, it doesn't have, you know, all the big pictures or anything like right. that. It just tells you how many steps. So I need how, something. Distance, I need something to calories, be able to track. Heart rate. Yeah. But I always carried my phone. I ran with my phone. Yeah, see, I don't want to run with my phone, so that's why I need an Apple Watch 3. Yeah, see, here's the weird thing about <laughs> me. When I run, I have to have something in my hand. If I have nothing, I will pick up a rock. Yeah. No, it's true. When all those, the times that I would always do the St. Jude run, mm -hmm. you know, you have to wear your safety vest and everything else, and there was a little pocket in there. I always kept rocks in there. So then when it was my turn to run, take out rocks because they were just the right size. I don't, I, yeah, it's, it's weird. I don't know. And see that in my head, because, you know, I'm going to the St. Jude thing again this year. Mm. I, and last year was my first year, and we, we do the Radiothon on Wolf. At some point, I would love to see that for myself in the future. I would love to do it once. Oh, the same, the yeah. Memphis to Peoria run? Yeah. Well, I would love to do it once. You can start out like one of the satellite runs, like right. the Peak in the Peoria, East Peoria, Which I think Don I would do this year. Yeah. If I do this half in March, mm -hmm. I definitely think that I would do that this year and do a satellite run. Or you could do Chicago. Yeah. You probably have friends that run all of the runs. I do. You yeah. definitely have, I have one somebody. That yeah, Chicago. I know somebody in yeah. one of them. But I don't know. Just my birthday is coming up. I think it's a great way to get in shape. When's your birthday? Two days after Christmas. Shut up, really? Yes. I did. Did I know that? No, I don't know. I did not know that. <laughs> Actually, I think I did because I think we talked about it once. Yeah. I don't really pay attention. I'm Christmas, sorry. Maybe. Yep. Two days after Christmas. Noah's birthday is 12 days after Christmas. Noah, my son, he's going to be 18. That's crazy. Dude's going to be 18. He's Epiphany baby, 12 days after Christmas. You know the 12 days of Christmas is actually starting on Christmas to after Christmas. Everybody always thinks that it's That's the 12 before. days before Christmas. No, it's I knew that. the 12 days after. Yeah. All right, well, it's, you know. I'm... Because it's got, Christmas has got to start with one. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That would be the 12 days of Christmas. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. think that Christmas is the last day. I would think it was the first day. Well, but see, it's like people think that it culminates. And because on Christmas Day, then you're getting the 12, All the, those the 12, things. the 11, the 10. I don't even know what just, they are. Yeah, I don't. I'm sure we could 12 figure jumpers, it out. 12 jumpers, leapers leaping or whatever. Yeah, that's silly. At least it's not 12 lemurs leaping. That would be That'd fun. That would be scary. No, that would be awesome. <laughs> boink, 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 boink. A little striped. Oh, I think. Oh, I'm thinking of flying squirrels. <laughs> no, the lemurs. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. What like you're talking from about now. Uh, Madagascar. Yeah. Okay. The I movie. got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Because everybody wants to move it. Move it. Mm -hmm. All right. What do we all, else do we have? Oh, Sarah's got a story. I do. I do. Christmas parties. Oh, why so are, Doc why, and I were. Why are we blur? Okay. No, I know. Doc and I were talking the other day, yesterday, about we had a coworker that did something <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> See, I wasn't even going to go that far. I was going to go. We know somebody. I I'm gonna not going to get into what he did, bus. but have you ever had those open <laughs> mouths? So funny, though. I wish I could tell you guys, but I can't. do you ever have those open mouth insert foot moments? And we started talking because. <laughs> We have our, our, our party tonight. Yep, our Christmas staff party, party tonight. Yep. is tonight. And <laughs> most of the time you have staff parties and things like that, Christmas parties, and somebody does something stupid. There's one too many glasses of wine. Always at least one. There's always somebody that has an open mouth and insert foot moment. Mm -hmm. Our coworker got his out of the way yesterday. <laughs> So I don't think we can really go into too much detail. Oh, Can we? No, I don't think so. He left a note on somebody's car. Yeah. We'll just leave it at that. Yeah. It was not the nicest worded note. 
correct? Oh, is that Merry Christmas? Probably. Oh, did it? <laughs> yeah, I think there was probably a little hint of sarcasm <laughs> <laughs> or venom in that Merry Christmas, but... <laughs> <laughs> it didn't turn out well for him. Uh, um, so, yeah. So, open then we started talking, foot. I'm the queen of open mouth and surf. Foot. Right. And I was telling you about this time that I might have been overserved, <laughs> And I knew this person. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sometimes when you're around, you, there's just people that you're around that drive <laughs> drive you crazy. Yep. And they drive everyone Everybody crazy. Everybody crazy. Yeah. Everyone. Mm-hmm. Every, the way they talk, the way they carry themselves the way they're know-it-alls the way right. they're just they drive you crazy you so just drive I'm, me almost to a, a <laughs> t there so i i usually so i love everyone yes <laughs> usually i love everyone but this one person this has been years ago this one person oh. drove me nuts yeah so i had been overserved possibly at a party that i was at and i found this guy that was going to listen to me about how annoying this chick was. And I went on <laughs> for a while <laughs> about, oh my goodness, I can't believe she doesn't that she has any friends. And I don't understand why anybody even listens to her. And oh I don't gosh. her shirt's ugly. And usually I'm not a mean girl, but I had a couple drinks and she just I was venting about how annoying venting. she was. Right, that's what it was. Just a simple vent. Mm-hmm. For 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> I topped the conversation off with Ugh, can you believe she's married? <laughs> who in their right mind would be married to that woman? Tell me, Sarah, who in their right mind would be married to that woman? The guy that I was telling all this to. <laughs> I mean, why not? And he let me go oh, on and God. on and on about mm-hmm. this woman and how I much everyone in the neighborhood couldn't stand her. Yeah. And uh, I was like, wow, who would be married to her? Can you believe she's married? That poor sap. That poor guy. I, I feel really bad for him. I wish I knew. I, I feel, I mean, Talk I to him. Shake some sense into yes, him. Yes, I wish what I are could you just thinking? Psh, 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 smack him across the face and say, dude, what's wrong with you? He, and I think he said something along the lines of, that's my wife. <laughs> I can't even, (laughs) like, as funny as it was, is right now, and even it was, like, ten minutes after that to Mm -hmm. me, after he left. Yeah. (laughs) And it was only funny to you at the time, because you had been over-served. Okay, so that's probably what makes it the funniest, (laughs) because we were, I was in the front yard of this house where this party was, and, like, he seriously, my mouth must have dropped open, (laughs) and... When I get into, I, I must have turned like nine uh, shades of red ish yeah. purple too because mm-hmm. I tend to blush like that. Yeah. But then I got the <laughs> giggles, what we like to call the church giggles, after he walked away from me. I don't think I stopped laughing for an hour and a half. <laughs> like it was that like belly laugh. I just couldn't. I. What's ridiculous about that is I was laughing at myself and I yeah. was tipsy enough that it was very hard for me to explain the story right. to other people because I wanted everyone else to know how ridiculously funny I was. Uh-huh. Yeah, it, it just went sideways. So uh, then tonight at the Christmas party? Yeah, I'm I'm excited. <laughs> is there a possibility of something like that happening? Are you, are you going to risk being overserved? No. See, we talked once before, the last time that we had like a company whatever function. Yeah. At, where were we? Alexander's. Alexander's. You gave me a hard time. You teased me because I only I have a two drink limit. That's my yes. limit. And those drinks, those beers were like thirty six ounces or okay, well maybe twenty four or eighteen. I don't know. So I had one and a half, and you gave me a hard time. I have a hard two drink limit. He is such a lightweight. Hard two drink limit. And that makes me seem like I'm not a lightweight, but in comparison, I could drink him under the table. The chances <laughs> of me being overserved and then open mouth insert foot. Because of being overserved, are pretty slim. No, you probably do that sober. I, I definitely do that. So I'm a guy. We speak without even thinking. Really, yeah. we'll just say stuff. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine if I had been tipsy or drunk? Oh dear lord. So uh, anyway. Yeah, I'm notorious. What are you wearing to the I, Christmas party tonight? Jeans. Are you really? Why wouldn't I? I'm gonna look good. Are you dressing up? Yeah. And getting dusting the tux off. It's not a tux, but I'll be looking good. I've got a jacket, suit jacket. Bright shirt. Really? Not bright shirt, but mm-hmm. oh, I'm going to look Shocker. <laughs> bright. I'm willing to. Does that match no, any it, of your tennis shoes? It's going to be black. 
Uh, <laughs> so it's shiny. <laughs> yeah. Not bright. No, shiny. it will not match any of my tennis shoes. I will be wearing nice shoes. I'm going to be wearing jeans, but I'm wearing a jacket and a shirt. Oh. Yeah, I don't know I don't yet. think anybody here has ever seen me in a jacket, suit jacket. Oh, wait a minute. I have. St. Jude last year. Yeah. Yeah, when we were down in Memphis. Oh, I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see who's at the songwriter's dinner. So did you, tell me, do you know, this is completely off track, but it has to do with St. Jude. So Facebook alerted me today that my birthday is coming up and I can donate my birthday to a charity. To a charity, yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. there's no way that we can have that go towards Radiothon, is there? It goes towards my birthday. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think so. I thought that would be kind of cool that and like share it cool. with the listeners and stuff and have them start. That'd be awesome. Donate, yeah. We need to figure out how we can do that. Yeah. Who do we call? I don't know. Do we have to call Zuckerberg himself? <laughs> yeah, maybe. So much. He's listening on, in on my phone. I know. And, I mean, and your phone. Definitely your phone because mm -hmm. you have an iPhone. Yeah. Everybody's listening in on that phone. Yeah. We just that we just had a trading mm -hmm. meeting about that kind of. Oh, really? Around, yeah. I have everything shut off my on my phone. I don't allow anything people to access. Don't say that because we try to sell this stuff to marketers. <laughs> oh. I mean. You can target I everyone do it all except the time. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah. People don't turn that stuff off. There's times that I will actually say, hey, Mark, and I'll <laughs> say something. Talking to Mark Zuckerberg. Mm -hmm. Not that we're friends or anything. That really went nowhere really quick. I know. I'm so sorry. We'll have to edit that part out. Uh, oh, is that Ryan? Oh, it's no. not Ryan. Here, we thought it was Ryan. We haven't had an appearance by it's Ryan Nikki, yet today. It's, it's Nikki. Nikki. Hey, Nikki. There's Nikki, everybody. What are you guys talking about today? Ferdinand? Uh, we did Will talk that, about Ferdinand. Yeah. Have you seen Ferdinand? When does that open? No, Nikki? I don't think Nikki it's out knows. yet. I don't know. I saw it as a preview when I saw Coco. You always know oh, when the Disney movies Coco's come out really in the Pixar. Good. I have not seen, seen that Coco. Yet. Yeah, I can't I wait for Coco. Pitch Perfect 3. Uh, it's not going to be any good. They're in yes, Europe. Yes, it's, well, no, they're in Europe. Every time a movie goes to Europe, pfft, it stinks. But if Bad Amy's there, it's going to be great. Yep. So no matter what. You can't see if you put a European in Europe, then it's just, it's worse. Oh, wait a minute. When is she? She's, she's not Australian. Australian? Yeah, I think she's Australian. From New Zealand or whatever? Close enough. She's a Kiwi. <laughs> hey. <laughs> that was a really Okay, Ned bad, Kelly. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> Ned <laughs> Kelly. You know, we used to go to Ned Kelly's for Christmas Eve dinner every yeah. year. That was our tradition. Family dinner. Ned Kelly's. What's cool. Ned Kelly's? <laughs> no. Is it Steakhouse, like <coughs> Lone me. Star, or okay. any of those typical? Texas Roadhouse, whatever. Yeah, yeah. where you get gotcha. the bread, and then you get the steak, and you get the salad with ranch, oh, and yeah. like mm. it's the <sighs> yeah. Now that I've given up bread meat. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know what's happened since I've given up bread meat? We're going to hit this one more time. I've gotten fat! How can that happen? You give up red meat. You're supposed to lose weight, right? It's You're supposed good for to be healthy. You. It's protein. It's a carcinogen. Everyone hates you right now because they all know you're not fat. No, mm -hmm. and I do love, I love a steak like nobody's Obviously, business, your body's telling you you need to eat steak. Just like I'm in having Friends. steak tonight, tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll have steak. No, it's like in Friends when Phoebe was pregnant, but the baby craved steak. And yes. she's like, the baby needs protein. Yes, exactly. Yeah. You need a steak. When are I you do due? Need a steak. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, All yeah. right, look, we've gone too long already. We need to get <laughs> on out of here. Do you have anything else you want to say? Nope. Oh, Nikki, you going to the Christmas party tonight? You I are, am. right? What do you What are you there. wearing? What are you wearing? What am I wearing? Yeah, what are you wearing? Um, I think I'm going to wear dark jeans with a black shirt. I think you've seen my shirt before. It's got black like 